everybody. Welcome to my channel, 25th and South. My name is CC, and today you're watching part 21, I believe, of my Rag Searches Challenge here in The Sims 4. Um, as you can see, I have CC here. She's just watching a little bit of TV. Joaquin just came home from work, and they're just having a pretty normal Friday evening. Nothing too crazy. Um, let's see, if you are keeping up with my channel, you know that in the last part, uh, Cece just got into university, so she is attending Wrightchester University, and she is, let's see, so for her degree program, she's going to be in the Distinguished degree program of the culinary arts and she has class in three days uh, we also in the last part was winter fest and i got them a little kitty um <laughs> named scout now scout is based off of my own cat um isn't he adorable um so yeah there's scout uh, I'll throw up a picture of my actual cat scout so that you see what it looks like. But right now, um, I think I'm going to have, looks like Cece's already been doing a little bit of homework. So I'm going to have her do some more homework, even though I know, let's see, it is, it is the, I think this, it's Saturday. So we want to make sure that she's all studied up and prepared for her first day of class. Now, um, also in that episode, we applied for some scholarships, and I did not realize how much money we could get from scholarships. Like, we got $24,000 in scholarships, which is crazy. Um, I think one scholarship was, like, um, for just living in Willow Creek. <laughs> so... That is going to do them very, very well, especially since I am been considering thinking about getting Joaquin out of his career as an entertainer so that he can focus on his music. Um, I know that might seem a little strange, but he has a lot to achieve and we have yet to really get there in his achievements. Um, he's getting high in, in guitar and piano, but uh, I think that that he really just wants to focus on his music and let that be his main focus. So what I was thinking about doing is with whatever available space that we have, build him a little studio in the backyard here. Um, where we could put maybe a mixing table and maybe even the piano so that um, Cece can study in relative quietness because walls up, she's in here and doing her homework and she can totally hear him in here banging away. And it might be nice to put like an actual desk back in here or in this spot so that there's a nice workspace for her to utilize and even him uh, utilize. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to set up a spot um, for CC or sorry for Joaquin to build a sort of a shack or a little just music studio. He is feeling a little hungry, and it is kind of late, so I might have him go to bed and in the morning get started on that. Um, so let's see. He is hungry, and he's tired. She is hungry and tired as well. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll let her finish up her homework, and we'll have him go to bed in the morning. We will build him a built him a nice little music studio and we'll get him some items to put in there as well. All right, so it's about 7.30 a.m. in the morning. Um, their bills are due, so I'm going to quickly have them pay bills. Um, and then I'm going to have Joaquin come to this back area back here and 
we are going to build him a music studio so that he can work on his music. And I think that um, uh, once uh, he's got that put together, we'll have him do a couple of songs. See if he can try to write some songs. I know he's got to get a higher level. Um, oh, there's a debate going on at the university. That It might be a good time for her to go visit. It is Saturday, but she's... She is sleeping away. I'm not going to wake Cece up. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Go in a build by. Now, I think what we'll try to do is build him a small studio right, maybe right in here that kind of matches the house a little. Now, this lot, I did want to kind of expand at some point, have some bedrooms and things, so I don't want to make it a huge space, but I do want to make it a big enough space um, so there is enough room for, room for Joaquin to do his music. Lock that window for some privacy. Okay, so here is Joaquin's 
little music studio where he can come and work on his music. Um, now Joaquin is feeling a little lusty. <laughs> we might let him put the, all of that lustful energy into coming back here and working on some music since his beautiful darling wife is still sleeping sleeping away um where is she in her renaissance aspiration she still has to achieve level eight and six skills where is she in those skills all right she needs oh we can get logic I'm sure we can. How? Let's get some. What is he in here doing? Cat. No. Don't play in the gar garbage. He knocked the garbage can over. Get up. Do not play in the garbage. This cat. Oh, he's such a mischievous kitty. No. And don't knock over the trash either. Oh, be quiet. Just hush. All right. Um, we have these bikes. I have yet to have them utilize the new bikes. So I think what I'll do... I'll put her in her winter outfit or one of her winter outfits there we go and we will have her go ride a bike safety first and we're off so does she she doesn't even have to learn how to ride a bike she just goes just goes for it and here we go I wonder if we just take the same track as we do running it looks like it there she goes. And there she goes. She's going back home. Seems like when you're biking, you bike for a really long time. Why is the cat outside? Oh my gosh, Scout. What are you doing out here? This cat is so bad. You need to stay inside the house. You're going to get lost. All right, want to meet new people, Sissy, so consider joining a university. Oh, she knows a lot. She has a lot of friends. Where is he going? We gotta lock the door so the cat doesn't get out. Joaquin seems to be enjoying his new studio, although he also seems to be missing that sense, um, some Sims interaction. You know, he's a very gregarious Sim. So I'm sure he wants to be surrounded by people all the time. Let's see. She has been going at this bike for quite some time. And her fitness is going up, which is cool. She is still going. She has been riding this bike like crazy. I mean, literally, she's gone up and down the block for over an hour. Okay, it looks like Sergio has stopped by, um, which just in time because Joaquin has been wanting to hang out with people. Oh my gosh, looks like he has gotten sick. In the last part, he was sniffling and, and sneezing, so poor baby is sick. So why don't you guys go inside? Um, now... Sergio, I have been playing with Sergio a little bit off camera, and I had him actually ask um, Jay if he wanted to date and or become make it official, become official boyfriend boyfriends, and Jay turned him down. It was quite devastating. So Sergio, he's probably been feeling. Um, pretty down. Um, now he does have a brand new roommate. He met this bartender and they hit it off pretty well and Sergio got really drunk <laughs> and, and as they were chatting realized, found out that the bartender didn't really have a decent place to live so he invited him to live in the beach house but 
Yeah, there we go. We've got Joaquin drinking some juice and well, I was going to try to have him talk to Sergio and chat with Sergio. Is she done with that bike? She's, okay, she's done with the bike and she's very tired, um, which is fine. Um, but we will have CC. Let's see. I wanted her to, I really wanted her to go to the school, but she's so tired. Is she, how's her hygiene? Her hygiene is good. She's hungry. Maybe we'll have to wait and they could possibly go later after she's had a nap. Looks like Scout is also enjoying the new music studio. He has decided to take a little, little nap in there little cat nap in there. All right, so here we are. We are at Brightwater. Brightwater. <laughs> we are at Brightchester uh, University. It's nighttime. It's almost eight o'clock and it looks like there's really not a whole lot going on. Um, we are here in front of, I think it's like a commons area or common place where uh, people can just kind of come and hang out order a coffee or order some food. Um, oh my gosh, John works here. Huh. Let's order some. Oh, and we can get food for free. Perfect. Or does maybe, I bet Joaquin has to pay for it because he doesn't, yeah, he's not a student here. So Joaquin's got to pay for his food. We'll let him get a garden salad because he's not that hungry anyway. I doubt, oh, we are hungry. So he's just visiting. There's some kind of university mixer. It starts here. It's just, oh, a place where everyone could just come and hang out from both of the universities. That's really cool. It's a really awesome opportunity for the two of them to meet people. Um, oh, let's meet this person here, Angela. Pleasant, and for those of you OG Sims players, then you'll recognize Angela from I think Sims 3. I never played Sims 3, so this is my first encounter with a Pleasant sister. Someone is playing some really terrible music, or is that terrible music coming from here? Oh, can we not change it? Oh, do a keg stand. That sounds like so much fun. Do a kick sandwich with John. He's not doing a keg stand anymore. I want you to do a keg stand with John. Chat with John. Will John come do a keg stand with you? Who else is Joaquin is making meeting Becca Clark and Lorena? Oh, this music is killing me. There's the other pleasant sister. We're definitely going to have to give this commons place a makeover because the inside is super boring. <laughs> All right, so. Joaquin has met some other students. We're trying to get them to do a keg stand with him. I think we might have found someone to do keg stand with. See what this interaction looks like. Oh, that's so cute. Here, come meet the other pleasant sister. That way you'll know them both. Where has Joaquin gone? He's in here drinking away whatever this concoction is. I have no idea. They are both feeling very tired. I mean, come on, guys. It's only 1130. Let's not be old, an old married couple just yet. Mmm. Pineapple lime. All right. So, they are both tired. They are both hungry. Cece has to pee. Um, I th and then it looks like a group of them just sat down and just decided to do homework. At midnight on a Sunday. Kind of weird. But... I think what we're going to do, we're going to have them go home. 
Um, where is Cece in her homework? I think she's almost finished with it. And then she has to do a term paper. Let's see, term paper. All students should submit a term paper before the end of term. Students should write and submit their term paper by using the computer. So when is the end of term? How do you know when the end of term is? Take final exam. Final exam will occur during final class of term, so don't miss it. Nervous, okay, so don't even know when that is. Oh, so she finished her kitchen knowledge, and now she needs to do the fitness and protein one. She needs to finish that one. Okay, we can do all of those things, but we're gonna have to go home before she passes out. Okay, so CC has gotten herself a bladder infection, which totally sucks, but that's okay because we're going to stay at home all day and we're going to work on our homework. Joaquin, get up. Take a brisk shower because he stink you stinky, stinky. One thing I am noticing about Joaquin is he's losing a bit of his shreddedness. <laughs> he hasn't really been taking care of his fitness. So he is gaining a little bit of weight and it's been a crazy few few months for them. So I think we will, I will have him go for a quick run and then let's see, have him come back and work on his music. All right, so Joaquin is uh, was has been feeling a little bit. He he needs some more social, and um, Zoe called them and let them know that there's this really cool performer at the flea market. Of course, Cece is at home studying, so Joaquin, being also a performer himself decided to go and check this guy out or this girl I should say so let's go watch this performance I think this is a girl that we met when we went to visit uh, the campus with Cece oh hey here's that one guy that Cece was trying to get um, Mackenzie to hook up with. Let's introduce ourselves. Why, hello, sir. Be like, I believe you know my wife and her really good friend, Mackenzie. She's awesome. Yes, she is pretty cool. Yeah, she sounds like a great girl, doesn't she? She doesn't sound interesting. Well, that's great. Poor Mackenzie, once again, is being snubbed. Well, let's just get to know this guy. And maybe he's not... Oh, he's evil. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We do not want Mackenzie to be with an evil guy. So we're just going to say, yeah, Mackenzie actually... Let me tell you something about our dear, dear friend Mackenzie. She's an alien. Yeah, she's an alien. She's not even human. Like, so if I were you, I wouldn't even risk it, sir. Yeah, I think, Joaquin, you've totally helped Mackenzie dodge a huge bullet here. Cece doesn't realize how not good that dude is for Mackenzie. Hey, it's mom. Oh. My. God. Did you just see that? Julia, she left, but Julia was pregnant. Where is she going? She's right there. <gasps> Joaquin's mom is pregnant. That's crazy, mom. First, go brighten her day. He probably doesn't even realize that his mom is pregnant. Oh, goodness. Who on earth would the father be? Mom? When were you going to tell me? When were you going to tell tell us that you were pregnant? I mean, we were in in Solani with you all day. We were there for two whole days and you didn't say anything. I can't believe you didn't tell us you were pregnant. Mom. And I bet Joaquin isn't even mad. He's probably a bit confused because he's been an only child for so long. He's probably feeling maybe a little bit hurt that 
his mom never told him or didn't tell him while they were in Sulani that she was pregnant. But I bet he's not mad. I bet he's actually really excited. Well, he does have work in an hour. I wanted him to get up and go. I wanted him to feel the baby. Mom. Aw. Look at him. He's feeling on his baby brother or sister. That is so... Look how excited he looks. He's like, I can't believe it. Can't believe, Mom, you're having a baby. All right, so Joaquin is at work. Um, and Cece is here at home. Did she get finished with that homework? She's almost done with it. Okay, for some reason, Gavin has come over to the house. Okay, um... It's cool that Gavin is here, but Cece does have some schoolwork to do, so you are more than welcome to come and hang out, sir, but we've got a term paper to write, and we also have to take a final exam, so, but, you know. Oh my gosh! He just slept in our bed. What is going on with you, Gavin? What's happening? Like, is everything okay with... Yeah, everything is okay with Zoe. Okay, that's cool. Why are you here? And why are you now in your pajamas? Like, what's happening? Is everything okay with Mitchell? Like, something is up, dude. You just show up here to our place out of the blue. Get in your pajamas. Hop in our bed. Our husband's at work. What are you doing? What's going on? Like, Gavin, what is going on? Alright, so everything is cool. So then why are you sitting at our kitchen table? I mean, you're more than welcome to stay, but she's in here telling funny stories instead of trying to figure out what's going on with him. They get super late. I guess she's going to allow him to spend the night. We still have no idea why he came over so late. Why he needs to spend the night here. But okay. We'll be in bed. You're more than welcome to sleep on our couch. I wonder if she called Joaquin to tell him. You know, just so Joaquin doesn't show up. And find this man in his house in his pajamas. Oh, well he's leaving. Okay, He's leaving, all right? Bye. Okay, well, that was a bit odd. We still don't know what's going on with Gavin, but I think I am going to end this part here with Joaquin coming home. Um, let's see, let's have him. He's not feeling very happy, so let's have him go practice his music. But yeah, I'll end this part here for now. We did a lot. Um, people are pregnant. Uh, Gavin is showing up in his pajamas at our place. Um, we got to visit the campus and meet some people. Um, uh, Joaquin's got his new studio up and going and he is really reconsidering his career. Um, you know, he enjoys being an entertainer and obviously it's a good job, but I think I think he's ready to really dive into his own music and do his own thing. Um, so that might be something that we have to, to do with him, but maybe we'll wait until CC graduates before he starts making any big career changes. You know, even though we did have a pretty sizable amount from that scholarship or the scholarships that we God, we don't want to completely rely on this money on this money to sustain us but let me know in the comments below what you think if you think that Joaquin should just go ahead and leave his job and really give this whole music thing a, his full-on attention or not um, so if you did like this video also give it a happy thumbs up by way of pushing that like button um, and if you haven't already and you want to see more videos from me, please, oh please, oh please subscribe. 
Um, I post Let's Plays, speed builds, cast videos, all sorts of fun content here on The Sims 4. And I would love to have you join. Again, my name is Cece, and I promise never to break your game. Bye!